All right, hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is JW. Uh, I recently upgraded my webcam. I was rocking the C920, pretty much the standard uh, webcam everybody in streaming and YouTube used when they first started. Um, streamed with this for about four years, got me a lot of good miles out of it, never had any issues with it. And the reason everybody buys it is because it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good camera. Um, I recently upgraded to the one you are seeing me on now. This crisp wide angle is uh, from the Avermedia PW513. Uh, this is, seriously, this is, it's incredible. Uh, you can stream in 4K. It's got a 94 degree angle, glass lens. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys that for the longest time, oh, ooh, sorry. When I was streaming with this uh, C920, I basically just defaulted all the settings like everybody else does. You can pretty much just plug it in, find your, you know, the angle you want and away you go. And I wanted to show you guys that not only are you able to get a way better picture quality out of that C920, but you are able to get, I want to say as close to 60 FPS as possible, even with the C920 that claims you can only do 30 FPS. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick and show you that it's actually pretty simple. And before um, OBS 28, you used to have to do this every single stream. So I used to have to do this every single time I turned on my stream, which was kind of annoying at first. But once you get it down, it's super, super cake. So once you do this once now, OBS will save these settings for you. So hopefully you don't have to do it again. But if you do have to do it again, just revert back to this video and uh, I'll just show you step by step how to do it. So, so I've got my original uh, C920 still plugged in. It's kind of my meme camera now that I use for like dramatic angles and stuff. So when you first start it up, it's going to look something like this. Super blown out. Terrible resolution. Um, just looks like garbage, if you ask me. So I'm going to show you exactly how to change this up. So what you're going to want to do is, hold on, let me pull this up. Grab that, bring this over here. Okay. All right. So I've got the uh, camera right here. And this is what you're going to want to do. It's basically going to be set to def uh, device default on your resolution. You're going to set this to custom. And once that is set, you're going to pick your resolution at 1920 by 1080. That'll bring up your picture just like this. So once you're there, what I want you to do is find your FPS and you're going to set it to 30. Then you're going to pull up your video settings. And once you are here, what I want you to do is take your gain and you're going to drop it below 100. It doesn't matter to what, just drop it below 100. Then you're going to go to camera control. You're going to uncheck your autofocus and you're going to uncheck your auto exposure. Once you're done there, you're going to drop your exposure from negative four to negative five. You're going to hit apply and hit OK. You're going to come back to this main win uh, window and you're going to take your FPS and then you're going to bump it back up to highest FPS. Once you are there, you might see, you know, the screen will flicker or something might happen. It's totally normal. Don't even worry about it. And if you guys can see right now, the FPS on this compared to the Avery Media, it's just night and day difference. This is clearly still 30 FPS, right? So what you're going to, want to do, go back into those video settings. You're going to bring this over. Make sure that this gain is set to anything below um, 100. I would always put it to 99 just because it's like right on the threshold. And what you're going to do is go back to that camera control. Just make sure these are still unchecked. It'll default back to this negative 4 when you change it to high FS, highest FPS. Just drop that down to a negative 5 now. Okay, bada boom. You're going to come back here, and then it may look a little dark on your screen when you do do that. Go to negative 5, but it's okay. Just grab your gain, kind of work it back and forth, and then, like I said, I kept mine at a negative at 99. So, now that you are 99, you can tell immediately, man, that looks way better. <laughs> so, now you're free to kind of adjust your settings however you want. Like, I would always put my uh, brightness to about 140. I would put my contrast at 145. I would set my saturation to 145 just because I have a lot of colors in my backdrop of my stream. Uh, my sharpness I would put at 150. So I'm looking nice and crisp on the uh, picture. And your white balance, it's kind of your own uh, 
your own decision, whatever you want to do. I have a lot of colors in my room, a lot of red colors in my room. So I always had it at like 5150 was my, um, my personal take. You can also set it to the, uh, to the auto white balance if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, but just make sure that gain stays below that 100 because it's, it's something weird with this camera when your exposure is at that negative four and your gain is above 100. That's where you get that super, super noticeable 30 FPS. And when you drop your exposure to that negative five and your gains below 100, this is kind of getting it, you know, getting the picture quality to as close as like an actual eyeball as you can get it. So this may just cost you, um, a little bit more in lighting. You may just need to get a little bit more of a brighter light to kind of, you know, brighten yourself up because your picture is going to be a little bit darker, but it's a good trade off for the smooth FPS now. And, um, you know, just... It's just an all-around better picture, in my opinion. So, and that's basically it. Um, like I said before, you used to have to do this every single time you started up your stream, but with how uh, OBS is now, it'll typically save those uh, settings in for every stream. So, uh, if this video did help you, man, I hope you guys uh, did enjoy. Uh, leave it a like, or you know, don't. I uh, stream every day on Twitch, Twitch.tv/jw. Play a lot of different video games. Talk a lot about politics, food. Uh, and memes, a lot of memes. So, uh, yeah, if you guys would like to stop by, I'd love to see you in chat. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Later.